like build it up. He's like jumping over that little carpet. Oh, he clears the carpet this yeah, time. See, they're like trying to do it like Tosh. I can't hear anymore that old Canada shit. Fucking yeah. hacks <laughs> are cheapening my brand. I'm fine with kids in high school or college plagiarizing, but once you work for a real network, you should have some goddamn self-respect. That's why I created a new segment called Sports Science. <laughs> Who do you think came up with that? A network dedicated to sports or Bill Nye's son, the sports science guy? They've been calling me that since I was fucking 11. On ESPN's flagship show, Sports Center, each highlight lasts an average of 45 seconds and contains an astonishing 217 unfunny forced puns. The frat brothers they call anchors are whiffing on an improbable 100% of the jokes they try to make. That's like a greased up adult grizzly bear trying to make love to a fresh salmon. That's like Sports Center breaks down like this. 60% Manziel gossip. 39% praising LeBron for buying a giant Brita filter to clean Lake Erie. 72% jerking off the SEC. And 41% explaining away whatever crime an NFL player committed that hour. There's 2% other, which is room for whomever has to fill in for Bill Simmons every time he's suspended for having the audacity to defend women. ESPN 72 personalities who have no personality can somehow manage to exert enough force to climb all the way into the NFL's asshole. Former athletes account for almost one-third of ESPN personalities. And with a grammatical error every fifth word, a normal segment contains nearly 400 instances of flawed syntax. Simple mathematics tells us that is a statistical anomaly. Chris Berman's weekly two-minute drill runs an average of five minutes and 11 seconds. That's five minutes and 11 seconds more than anyone outside of Buffalo wants to hear Chris Berman gargle on all seven of his chins. And that's painfully unaware. Pudgy old man makes $3 million a year. That's more than all pros Andrew Luck and Julio Jones. Science! For a measly $5.64 billion, ESPN won the broadcasting rights to the college football playoffs for the next 12 years. Zero dollars of that will go to the athletes. ESPN hurts kids playing football, which means they support kids getting brain damage, which means ESPN wants children to die. Or, to put it in scientific terms, ESPN loves killing kids. Science. You guys should check that out because the best part about the entire sports science part was his douchey hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, the same hair as the guy that yeah, does the sports does. science. That's right. Yeah, he <laughs> the spiky hair. That was great. Yeah. A sphincter says what? what? To ESPN. <laughs> uh, we'll run through the rest of this quickly because we're far out of time. Yeah, I bet. Uh, Rex Ryan was fined $100,000 for uh, saying fuck you after the Steelers game last week. To oh. himself or to somebody? To somebody. Oh. On the Steelers. Oh. They want to go into, de- into detail, but uh, I see nothing wrong with this. No, not at all. More f bombs, the better. That's right. That's right. That's this is right. fucking football. God damn it, motherfucker! Uh, RG three throwing his team under the bus. He basically he said, never takes fault. He's garbage. Yeah, he started, you are the quarterback. He started yeah. to. He said, you know, come it falls on me and blah blah blah. They went on to say that, uh, but if he had a better team around him, it wouldn't have happened. That's bullshit. Ooh. He's got Jordan Reed. That's just the lowest end of his receivers. Pierre Garçon. Pierre Garçon. Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. And one of Alfred the best Morris receivers. running the and ball. And Alfred Morris is running back. That's what, right. What more does he want? What do you want? In a uh, shitty ass Maybe an offensive line. Where the Cowboys still. are running away with it. Yeah. Well, no, the Eagles and Cowboys are tied. Well, I guess. Yeah, that's right. But still. Who's that worse for? The Eagles or the Cowboys? Eagles. They more, should be ahead. It's true. More embarrassing for the Eagles. Yeah. Well, they did lose Nick Bowles. Yeah, they are dealing with butt fumble. That's oh, your dirty, poor team. Dirty you had Nick Foles, didn't you? Oh, you lost oh, tonight. I you know, were close until Le'Veon Bell, uh, two hundred uh, yards and a touchdown. Tonight. Oh my God! That Jesus hurts. Christ! Did he really? He took away my shit, my tits. I was going to get the tits trophy, oh, and then barbecue I, master. I've got him in my other league. Fantastic! Hey, that worked for you. Then. That did work. I was already yeah. killing the guy, but still, uh, I, I still beat John. I got re- redeemed why did my he second have to loss. Get busted with weed. It like messed up my whole draft. I thought it was going to get like suspended because you can't smoke weed in the NFL, and it's like. <laughs> No, hey, that's fine. You can beat your wife. Well, they said it doesn't go into effect till the next season. Oh well, now I have to. Miss and I him didn't know that either. That's why I didn't I have to draft pass, him. pass on him next year's draft when he'll actually probably play again. 
and but we'll be all screwed over. Again. It worked out for me, though, because I got Arian Foster, who's actually done better overall this season. Yeah. He missed last game, but I had Mike Evans as a starting wide receiver, and he yeah. got me 200 yards and two touchdowns. So He's we're okay. balling. He's yeah. balling. Uh, I have four rookie wide receivers right now. All, be- job, all because Rick. I saw the trend was <laughs> – all I saw was that the trend was that the quarterbacks need to throw to these guys, so they're going to be getting a lot of balls. Hey. Oh, you're a fucking genius. Yeah, um, I am a genius. Sports science – Point out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Bowie State fired Charles Grant, who a uh, former Saints has an NFL uh, Super Bowl ring, now is a volunteer coach. Uh, Body slammed. One of the students got fired for. Did you see it? Yes, I Crazy. saw it, and we will be twatting the video out at the charity strict. No. Did eating. you find one that wasn't so grainy, or was it the same grainy one? It was uh, compliments of TMZ Sports, I do believe. Yeah, it was kind of a. It was more of like a judo slam. He like. Use his body weight to sleep. He was angry. Down. Yeah. He's, and he's a large man. <laughs> you <laughs> are. Large, dark man. Much bigger than the large students mark. you were throwing down. Yes. And uh, finally, Jags Dwayne Gratz was arrested for trying to pay with bubble gum. This is the barter system, right? It, apparently, <laughs> in Miami, they don't uh, approve of the barter system. Right. Unless he was, it's bath salt. Yeah, well, that's a, different, <laughs> that's a different time of money. That's right. Uh, he was hammered, and he was in Miami, and he went to buy some things from a convenience store. And when he realized he didn't have any cash on him, he tried to pay with bubble gum. <laughs> like, and, we've got plenty of that, sir. Right. It's <laughs> like, sir, you are drunk or high. Yeah. You don't understand. I've got big league chew. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all out. That was a little damage check of me, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> I got the big league chew. <laughs> Not, not Jew, but Jew. <laughs> it reminds me of that skit on uh, was it? In Living Color. Remember the, they had that character that says, $5, good Lord. Why didn't I give you a booger and five cents and we go call it a day? Do you remember that <laughs> Sort of, yeah. Yeah, that's what it reminds <laughs> me of. Like, that reminded me of, I ain't got no How tree fitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got no tree. How about I give you uh, some Big Lee Chew and we call it a day? Big Lee Chew. That's pretty good. Now, what was he trying to get with the Big Lee Chew? I don't they know. Say? They uh, he, he chased out some customers. <laughs> was and, it uh, some Four Loco? The guy, yeah. I am <laughs> Loco. Four Loco. Four loco. Oh. He, well, he was in Miami. He could have been trying to, you know. That's all. That's all. He probably right. only had a Butterfinger in his pocket. The cops were going to shoot him. <laughs> right. Or Skittles. Yeah. Whatever. He's got a Skittles in yeah. a hood. Yeah. So uh, who knows? But the cops were called. The cops showed up, told him to leave. He, said, he refused to leave. He's like, not until he takes my bubble gum. Right. Yeah. <laughs> at, at that point, if I'm that hammer, they're not taking my quote unquote money. <laughs> I just walk out with whatever I was trying to buy. <laughs> right. If you're that hammered, you're yeah. going to try to bribe the cops with your bubble gum. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> I got some big league chew, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put these cuffs on me. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He's an idiot. Okay. Anyways, uh, I think that's all we got. <laughs> by the way, we're getting twatted by uh, San Diego Johnny. Because mm. Mike claims to be a good fantasy player, but if you look at his whole team, they're free, all free agent pickups. Ooh. He only has one player he drafted on his team. Anyone can be a good pick, can be good picking up hot players. I drafted you know, Tom Brady. I drafted a, Arian Foster. The waiver wire is like special teams. Right, it's one third who, of the game. Who wins? <laughs> who wins the championship? The guy who picks up the best players because he sees the trend. Right. I have picked up the best players because yeah. I. I will say there is a skill at looking at that waiver wire and picking up some. And good I did it. I've been picking up I, the wrong I still agree with John because I think you're a cunt. He's just mad because I beat him this week. Well, probably. Yeah, I'm mad. He's mad because I have surge. <laughs> I'm mad that you lost because I wanted you to give that guy <laughs> yeah. a loss, so I was two games ahead. I'm of matter. That guy. I'm matter. It just I'm maddest. I got raped by your second team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike's got two te- teams. Yeah. He's claiming that it's his cousin. That's the team, team that builds the up team the I don't even team. look at, and you're right. still losing to him. They trade bullshit trades with. Yeah. Didn't, didn't John lose to that team? I had no, a, John I had a horrible. We had Julius team. Thomas who went out with zero points on the board. Oh, wow. and, uh, uh, hey, Peyton, Peyton had really a shit game. Shit I got Peyton bed. too. Yeah, he looked badly. He looked worse this week than he did with Tom Brady. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bad. If that was possible. Peyton Manning put on a true Super Bowl performance this week. I really think the Rams just made. Denver looked bad because Peyton, it's not like he threw interceptions. He just couldn't get an open receiver. And then the Rams, they took out Emmanuel Sanders, the only guy doing anything. They took out Julius Thomas. Man, they sacked stepped him. on that guy's they ankle. They sacked him bad, too, in like the fourth quarter. Yeah. I've never seen Peyton Manning I think it was Rams. Like I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from the Rams. I think the Rams just kicked Peyton Manning's ass. Yeah. Uh, Giant just caught it one more time. Since I'm 3-8, and eight. I don't care anymore. Uh, since he's 3-8, and eight, I might be making some trades with him. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. He'll make counter trades that are horrible oh, right geez. back at you. I will? 
No, he will. Oh, he will. Yeah. No, oh, he'll send me some more. Remember, he's the one that says MJ Maurice Jones Drew in any trade that he was giving out was a good deal. Hey, MJ is the, the same man. guy here. What team does he play for again? The Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> does he really play though? I don't know. No. <laughs> I say, what team does he actually play for? He right. actually got Darren no McFadden team. his starting job back. That's how bad <laughs> exactly. he is. Exactly. He's he's pretty good. Fadden though. hasn't been too terrible. Lately. He's not hurt yet. Yeah, that's been his big problem. Yeah, exactly. Because he's the same size and and uh. skill as. Peterson, not as explosive, yeah, but he was the same type of back in college. He was, and then he was just getting hurt a lot in in pro fall and pro ball. I mean, what do you want? Pro fall, pro, pro fall. That's right, pro mm-hmm. fall. It starts in the fall. Hashtag man ass. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hut, man hut, ass. hike. Ooh, <laughs> hi. Speaking of man ass, I think it's time to get out of here and grab each other. I mean, um, <laughs> balls. Uh, anyways, that, that's all we got for tonight. Thank you to Daniel for showing up. For Thank bringing you. Some, Thank, thanks for having me. Thanks for bringing some beverages. Oh, you, you got it. Nice. Anytime. In that case, we'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, you can get us at thecharitystrike.com, facebook.com slash thecharitystrike. At thecharitystrike with the uh, no uh, no E on the end of that thing. And uh, 805-409-3679 is the number to call, sex, text, all of that good shit. Ow. Ow. And you can get us on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. And Instagram, too. Uh, thanks for the live people who were uh, live chatting with us, even the 300-pound chick. Uh, it just means you got big tits. Uh, and thanks to Sugar Tits for hanging out and everyone else that was as well. Mm, sugar Tits. Yeah, that's right. With that, on that note, good night, everybody. Olivia, why don't I cuckold you while Daniels jerks off in the corner? <laughs> <laughs>